let um, A be uh, a non-empty subset R which consists of isolate point which consists of isolated points so we know that in this case for any A in A that exists epsilon positive such that A minus epsilon A plus epsilon intersect A is reduced to singleton A so we want to show that A is countable for that fix n greater or equal than 1 and consider a n to be the set of a in a intersect the interval <coughs> minus n n such that a intersect a minus 1 over n a plus 1 over n is reduced to a okay so clearly a n is a subset of a okay which implies that the intersection or the union sorry which implies that the union of all the a ends is a subset of a okay okay let us prove now that in fact we claim that a is in fact equal to the union of the a ends okay let a belongs to a Okay, we know that A is isolated as we said before, so therefore there exists epsilon such that A intersect A minus epsilon A plus epsilon is equal to A. Okay, pick an N0 greater than 1 such that 1 over 1 over n0 is less than epsilon and a is between minus n0 and n0 so if we allow since 1 over n goes to 0 so we can take n0 uh, large enough such that these two conditions are satisfied okay because minus n and plus n will go to minus infinity plus infinity so we can cover the little a so in this case if you look at a minus 1 over n, a plus 1 over n, it is included in a minus epsilon, a plus epsilon, which will imply that a minus 1 over n, a plus 1 over n intersect a is exactly the singleton a. This clearly, oh I'm sorry, this is n0. So this clearly implies that a belongs to a n0 which complete the proof of our claim. Therefore, A is exactly the union of the A ends. Okay. Next, we claim another point, which is that we claim that A n is finite for any n. Indeed, assume that, for example, fix n and assume that a n is infinite. Okay, so in other words, we are going to
going to find a sequence so that exists a sequence x m in a n okay so what do we know so number 1 for any m different from m prime we have absolute value of xm minus xm prime is greater than 1 over n greater than 0 okay that's because uh, the xm xm intersect a xm minus 1 over n xm plus 1 over n intersect a is only reduced to xm so if xm prime is different from uh, if m prime is different from m then uh, xm prime will not be in that interval and this will have this bigger than 1 over n okay moreover we know that the sequence xm is in the closed interval minus n plus n okay uh, which is a closed and bounded and therefore uh, we have a subsequence which converge okay therefore xm has a subsequence okay which is convergent and this is a contradiction with the fact that we just mentioned before which is this one okay so this is not possible to have a subsequence of the exams which converges okay since a so this is our co contradicting contradiction with the inequality we gave above therefore uh, a which is uh, a countable union of finite set must be countable for the second part of the of this exercise okay we want to show that if a is uncountable it has an accumulation point before we do that let's go back to recall the definition of what is an accumulation point so uh, x is an accumulation point so keep in mind accumulation points do not need to belong to the set it's an accumulation point of a if and only if for every epsilon positive okay there exists b in a intersect a minus epsilon a plus epsilon with b different from a so in other words that this uh, in, uh, open interval a minus epsilon a plus epsilon contains an element of a different from a okay so what does that mean that x is not an accumulation point x is not an accumulation point of a okay then we have to take the negation of this there exists epsilon such that if you take a intersect a minus epsilon and a plus epsilon it does not contain any element different from a in other words this is a subset of a so in particular if oh I'm sorry uh, I meant a okay so if uh, we assume that a belongs to a so if a belongs to a and a is not an accumulation point of a then 
A must be an isolated point. Is an isolated point of A. So this clearly implies what? That if A okay, does not have uh, an accumulation point, okay, uh, then A uh, consists of uh, isolated points. So we know that in this case A from the first part is countable. is a contradiction. Therefore, if A is uncountable, A must have an accumulation.